Contaminated steroids manufactured in Massachusetts are the cause of a nationwide health threat that has now killed two people in Michigan and has infected 20 more. The source of the contaminated steroids has been identified as well as what Michigan facilities receive shipments of the contaminated steroid injections, including Michigan Neurosurgical Institutes in Grand Blanc. People who had received a certain type of mixture of the medication of the steroid um, had undergone certain types of medical procedures, those are the ones who were at risk for this specific type of meningitis. Dr. Sunita Tumala says that this type of meningitis is not infectious and only possesses a risk to those patients who have been injected with the steroids. And the, fortunately, the type of meningitis that's currently we're experiencing since this recent epidemic um, breakout is fungal meningitis, which looks very different. According to the Michigan Department of Community Health, this is a developing investigation and the number of infections is expected to rise. Initially, meningitis can present just like the flu, but it can progress really rapidly. And it can present itself in a number of symptoms. So the symptoms in the beginning can start out with a headache, um, usually weakness or eye pain, specifically neck pain, and that's something to really raise a red flag, something to warn your doctor about. The two deaths in Michigan both were females over the age of 50 and were linked to the four facilities in Michigan that received the potentially contaminated product suspected to be the cause of the outbreak.